My auntie's sister, Tolade, that I the granddaughter of Abeke, <laughs> who live at Igun. You know, ah, don't you know him? Oh my God! Like, oh, who is that? I... Oh, hey, welcome, mom. Welcome, mom. Welcome, mom. Kabo, Kabo. Mom, what, what is it? The problem. You look worried. Uncle Collins again? My mom won't deal with Uncle Collins one of these days. Ah, please, please, just leave that man. He's a useless man, no? Leave him home. Mom, what happened? Is he still bent on selling the property? It's not even that. He phoned me just before I left the office and said, Well, the family have met and we have decided that you should bring all the children to the village for their father's second burial. And that your grandpa it's coming to Lagos. <laughs> oh, Tio, nobody will go anywhere. Me, I am not going anywhere, mommy. Like, like me, I am not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Mom, this second burial thing, is it that they have to exhume dad and bury him all over again? No, it's just a ceremonial thing. But the traditional rites, according to him, we might be forced to go through. And he was really fussy about it. That was what got me upset in the first place. Did you say grandpa is coming? Well, so he said, maybe we could just wait. Maybe he's coming to explain to us what it all entails. You know, if it is not acceptable to us, then we quit. Yeah, mom, I think it's true. I agree totally with that. Uh, let's just wait for grandpa to come. Hear what he's got to say. Moreover, I haven't seen him since I was a kid, so I really want to see him. Mm. But I still think we should put our heads together and agree whether to accept grandpa on this eventful visit or not. That is good, my daughter. Ochi Dabe. Mm. Relax, eh? Oh, come on. Go inside. Go on, relax. I'd like to see Grandpa again. I don't want you all to get me wrong. Listen, what I'm saying is, where have they been all this while? I'm not just talking about your Grandpa. I'm talking about Collins. I'm talking about every member of that family. Where have they been all the while? Nobody ever cared. Now they want to show up. And to crown it all, Collins keep coming here to cause trouble every now and then. Mom, I think you're bothering yourself too much. For Christ's sake, we should just wait and let Grandpa come here first and explain. We all know Collins is a very mischievous person and we don't have to swallow everything he says hook, wine and sinker. That's exactly what I'm saying. You got it right. He's such a mischievous person. What does he want now? Oh, to remind me of Funduka's death and the pains and agony I went through? Tejumola, you take it easy. As I am, I'm ready to give you all the support. Don't worry. Um, 
Okay, that's a wrong notion. Papa is just coming to visit the children. Hmm. When has Papa ever been interested or when has he ever bothered about the children? Look, Collins, I don't trust you. I think there's something fishy. He's also coming to discuss the burial rights and to show that Papa really cares. Papa wants to see you get married again. Oh, tell you, for the first time in my life, Collins, oh, oh. So, let us be reasonable with Collins here and let's listen to him. And mom, for the first time in my life, so I can't seem to find any fault with what Uncle Collins said. Moreover, I'd like to see Grandpa again. If I, you too. Oh no, I don't believe this. Well, anyway, um, Collins, you can now take your leave, okay? Thanks for everything. Hmm? But you can now leave. Okay then. I am going and don't expect to see my face here again. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Mom, yes. I think I agree with what Mama said. Let's not be unfriendly and heartless. Mom, I think we should call on Collins back. Tell you, Mola. Mommy, you have to be very careful, though. Call on Collins. Two of you sit down, eh? Talk with him. You conclude with him so that you, you, can, you can remarry. So you will be free, eh? Please. Call him. Sit down with him, talk with him, please. So, Tejo, it's because of that young man, Douglas, that you stood me up the other day. Oh, come off it. Lola, mm -hmm. but you always like making fun of every serious matter. Please, get serious for once. Why are you always asking me to be serious? I am being very serious. Let's face it. If it's a second burial that they want, I think it's old-fashioned. I don't think you should succumb to it. But if it's a remembrance prayer session, then I don't see anything wrong with it. Oh, Lola. You know that yearly I do organize a prayer meeting for Unduka. I do. Anyway, if it's the traditional whatever and the coloration you have a problem with, <laughs> kick against it. I'm kicking against it. And that's what Ada said. We have a right to partake or not. I'm really fed Is that the old man is coming? Yeah. So, when he gets here, he will explain better. But I don't understand why they didn't just send the message down instead of troubling the old man on a long journey like this. Unduka's father said he hasn't seen the children for long and he wants to personally appeal to me to bring the children over to the village. Ask me for what? For what? To learn Igbo language. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh, so he wants to lure you over to the village to befrot you to another man. And I think Collins is that man he wants you to marry. God forbid! <laughs> la, la, la. Do you know that Collins on his own have tried several times? Are you telling me? Hmm. But let me ask you. Why have you rejected every man who has asked you out on a date? I don't mean Collins before you chop my head off. I mean men like Alahaji Inwa, handsome bobo and many others. Tejo, listen, I know it's not easy. I can't claim to understand what you're going through. Mm -hmm. But um, Nduka has been dead for so many years. And I think it's about time you moved on with your life. Listen, think about it. If it was the woman that died, the man probably would have moved on almost immediately. Lola, I know. The children. What about I really, I really don't want a divided attention. Get serious. Now that the class father wants you married off to another man, your attention is bound to be divided. Oh, but you know that's not possible. <laughs> so when is the old man coming? I don't know. 
but Collins is going to come over to the house to give us more information. You know what baffles me? I don't know how Collins has been able to win everybody over to his side, including Ifai. <laughs> don't let that trouble you. I think it's primarily the love they all have for you, you know. One, they want to see their grandfather. Two, they want you to move on with your life. And um, get married again. No, stop it. <laughs> I think it's high time I've closed for the day. Yes. I think and so um, too. we'll have dinner at my place. Oh, it's our pleasure, my dear. What are we having? Not twice, I, I hope. <laughs> I think uh, this weekend, but let me, let me uh, call my cousin to confirm. Uh, yeah. Hello, yes, hello, yeah. Are you not cool? Okay, okay. Uh, please, when is Papa coming to Lagos? Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, all right. Bye. Yeah. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> that means we have little time to prepare. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh when he comes, mm -hmm. is he going to stay with us say for 2 3 days or is he going to go straight to your place? Mm, uh when he comes, I think I'll bring him straight here to meet with his children then uh, to discuss with you. After that, I'll take him to my place. All right. Okay. It's okay. But what kind of food does he like? <laughs> Papa, uh, when we were much younger, uh, he used to like uh, fufu, ofeo nubu, ofeo ha, and uh, well, I don't really know. Anyway, we'll try as much as possible to make him comfortable while here. That's wonderful. It's all right. Well, I'm really very grateful. I think for the first time we are talking as one big family. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you too. You know, once you are genuine, we don't have any reason to doubt you. That's wonderful. I'm really grateful. All right. Thank you, Naomi. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Bye bye. bye. Okay, bye then. Okay. All right. Nice, you guys are up early. Where's yeah, mommy? Yeah. Where's mommy? She's still in her room. Oh, okay. Ada, yes, mom. You have to get set right now because we need to get to the market before it's late. Alright, just give me a few minutes. I'm going. Oh, okay. um, but mommy, don't you think I should just clean the blinds? Hi. Okay. Me, mommy, to the market. Say he's coming here streets. Are you sure he still knows the place the way to this house? Yes, my cousin says uh, Papa says he knows this place that he will come here street. Has he been here before? Yes, he was here some years back, but that was a long time ago anyway. And I don't know if he can still find his way here. Uh, Collins, 
Why don't you call and find out what exactly, I mean, the time he left the village and the transport system he took? Network. Uh, yes, hello? Yes? Ah. Uh, Aha, uh -huh, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. Ah. Uh, well, my cousin says that uh, Papa left this morning with the first boss, but he didn't say the name of the transport company. I'm sure he's already in Lagos and trying to find his way to this place. Why don't we call Grandpa on his mobile phone to know exactly where he is now? I don't, no. I don't think uh, Papa has any. Anyway, um, I'm sure he's in Lagos already, so he will soon be here. Meanwhile, let me get to the supermarket and buy some things for Papa before he gets here. Please try and get something for us too. Why is he only Grandpa you want to buy something? Oh no, come on. Everybody, including a mama. Ah, uh, <laughs> alright. <laughs> okay, okay, let me run. Uh, if I can please get the door. Good evening, madam. Oh. Good evening. Hola. Hola. Yes. What do you want here again? Um, I just came to ask if you... Uh, no, please. Don't ask me any question. And as you can see, we're very busy. So please. I'll see you some other time, okay? Hey, Juni Soro. Mommy, take what easy. Don't you recognize that good for nothing young man? He was the one who came here the last time to claim one pass from abroad and eventually brought the police in. I do, but you will have leave him. And let him wait and say something, yeah, anything he wants me. to say. With such people, you don't take chances because he might end up putting us into trouble again. This time around, only God knows, maybe it's EFCC that will come here. Okay, okay, it's alright. Please. transport company. At least we could go and check on him. Ah. So what do we do now? Should we go to the police? Ah, no, no, not yet, not yet. Uh, if I don't see him this night, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll go to the village. I think we should check out one of those garages. Again? Ah. Kola. Good morning. What are you doing again? I told, I told you, don't come to my house. I just want to know if you are Mrs. Sunduka, because this film fits you. Any problem? Well, one old man gave me this for one Mrs. Sunduka. It's addressed to you. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Your grandpa has gone back to the village. Oh. He says he's been trying to locate this place since 4 30 pm. Oh. Well, I never knew you're also Mrs. Sunduka. I've always known you to be Mrs. Teddy Phillips. That was when he gave me this letter to give to you. That was why I came earlier in the day. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I embarrassed you earlier. Yes, I'm Teju Unduka Phillips. Now, now, where is Papa? Where is he now? He took a taxi when it was getting dark and he was going back to the village. That was when he gave me this letter. Well, it was when he left that uh, I met Mrs. Tobichi who gave me this, who told me to check on you again. Oh my God. No, now, Kola, or whatever your name is, where did he say, where, what, which part did he say he was going? Well, because I have to see Papa this night. I, I'm not too sure, but I overheard the Tazidora saying, Maza Maza, why he said Ojota Moto Park? Ha. Well, I have no option. If I don't see Papa this night, I have no option than to go to the village tomorrow morning and bring Papa back to Lagos. Why? Because I've spent so much money. 
try to bring Papa to come and convince you to make you sell the house so I can get my own share of my late brother's property. Ah, of course. Collins, I knew it. I knew you had a hidden agenda. No wonder you were running from one corner to the other. Anyway, thanks a lot. Thanks for everything you bought. You can take your things. I'll leave my house. See? 